from our auntie, are you? Ah, no, I'm from Saito. My father is a good merchant. I'm here to sell cloth. Really? What luck? I just happen to need some cloth. Really? What kind? You have many varieties. <clears throat> that kind. That one. I need one acre of it. To go. This? This is wool. Wool, exactly. The quality of wool around here is just horrendous. Really up. I've been looking for some good out of town wool to make my summer parka. Summer parka? Well, the winds. Chilly. It gets chilly around here. Right? Never know when you might need a when you might need a parka in July. Did the winds do that? What? That firm. It looks like an ice cream. Oh, that. I just got that when I was up on the uh, how much is the wool? We better go ask my father. I'll see if I can get you a discount. That would be wonderful. Discount. <laughs> wonderful. And that was the day they met. It was one year the day after Hezke purchased his summer park that they were married. In the years that followed, they had three happy, healthy, well fed children who occasionally went out with their father and mother to chop wood and plant seeds. Life was one long joy for Kesk, with the occasional ball. <coughs> I see this, this woman. There's no woman. You, Fiona, no white skin and, and, and black hair. She's raising arms and her arms are stretched for me, calling for me. Why? What is it? It is... It is just a 
cloth. A cloth your father found a long, long time ago. Why can I not touch it? Because it is not yours. Because it is mine. I found it, not you. How could you treat her that way? I'm sorry. I just do not want her to touch this cloth. Why? Because you found it lying out on the mountainside during the blizzard? Because it reminds you of something that happened up there. Someone you met, maybe. Something you did that you want no one, not even your own wife and children to know of? Why, Keske? Why do you never speak of that time? I want to. You do not know how much I want to. All these years, day after day of silence, do you think I want to continue this way? Then why, Keske? Just speak the words. I'm listening. I cannot. Keske, I'm your wife. If you cannot tell me, then who can you tell? No one. I can tell no one. This is the last time I'll ever mention it. And if you refuse to tell me now, I'll never bring it up again. Please, Keske, please tell me what happened up there. Oh! 